Hi, little gardeners. Today we're going to read a story about the life cycle of a bean. And then we are going to do a little activity as well as look at the beans that are growing in our garden. This is called Life Cycle of a Bean and it's written by David M. Schwartz and photographed by Dwight Kuhn. What would the garden be like without beans? People grow beans because they are good to eat, but the bean pods also have another purpose. They contain seeds that will grow into new bean plants. Pods are the fruit of the bean plants. If you run your fingers up and down a bean pod, you will feel bumps. Each bump is a seed. Split open a pod to see its seeds. If you put a bean seed in soil and give it water, something magical will happen. Can you guess? Inside each seed is a tiny plant or embryo. The seed also has two large white sections called seed leaves. They are full of food for the embryo. In moist soil, the seed slowly swells with water. The embryo's tiny root begins to grow. The root breaks through the outer shell or seed coat and pushes downward into the soil. The seed has germinated. A pale green shoot begins to grow. It pushes up and forces the seed leaves and seed coat apart. The seed coat falls to the ground. The shoot has two new leaves. They spread open to face the sun. The seedling keeps growing. More leaves form. The leaves make food for the whole plant. To make food, they use water from the ground, light from the sun, and carbon dioxide from the air. Beetles and other insect pests come to eat the bean leaves. If the insects do not eat too many leaves, the plant will be strong enough to keep growing. When it is big enough, flower buds form. Soon they open into flowers. Bees and other insects visit the flowers to sip the sweet nectar. A yellow dust called pollen sticks to the insects' bodies. When the insects move to other flowers, the pollen rubs off. It fertilizes tiny eggs deep inside the flower. The eggs begin to grow into new seeds and a bean pod forms around them. The flowers wither and drop off, but the pod keeps growing. The seeds inside get bigger. Fruit and seeds are good to eat, so people pick the pods. If they save some seeds and plant them next spring, the seeds will grow into new bean plants. Can you put these in order? Which one goes first? And second? And third? What comes after that one? And after that? And? And that's right, that's the last one. Now, I have some bean models, not as many as these, um, but I have four bean models in order. And then we'll go out into the garden. All right, little scientists, let's use my models We'll mix them up to put them in order. So, what happens first? That's right. You plant the seed and if you look closely, you can see that the root breaks through the outer shell or the seed coat right there. So that's first. What happens next? That's right. The root really starts to grow down into the ground. And remember, the roots are how the plant will get water and nutrients. And you see that a pale green shoot begins to grow and pushes up and forces the seed leaves and seed coat apart. What comes next? That's right, this one where, look it, 
it actually splits open and you can see two new leaves that are going to come out and those will face the sun. And then finally, the seedling keeps growing, more leaves form, and the leaves make food for the whole plant. And then you'll start to see the beans grow, which we're going to do when we go see our plant, our real bean plants outside. Let's go. Friends, okay, little gardeners, I have a surprise for you. <gasps> Look at what has grown in our garden. Look at those beans. Look at that. They're actual beans that grew from our little bean plant. Remember this? See how big it's gotten? And then here's our other bean plant. And as you can see, we've got lots of beans here too. Look at our little string beans. That's the plant. Remember to support our channel by liking and subscribing.